Bonjour, bonjour, shop farewell. By the end of this video, you're going to have a quick view on your collection pages. You're gonna do it all yourself. It's gonna cost you nothing except a bit of time. And frankly, it's probably gonna save you two, three hundred dollars to have a developer do it for you. The first and most important thing you do is you go to online store once you're in the back end of your Shopify store and you create a duplicate of your life theme. You're going to do this by clicking on action and clicking on duplicate. There you go. It's super important. You never work on live themes and always have a backup on which you work in case you mess stuff up. Just delete the backup and start over. All right. While this is loading, I just want to show you real quick that I'm not going to bamboozle you. If I'm going to go on catalog on the preview version right here, there is no quick buy. So we're about to change that. Okay. It's done. So the first thing you're going to do once you have the duplicate is you're going to click on actions and you're going to be clicking on uh, edit code. Now, if you're used to our channel, you know, this is the code editor. We do a lot of coding videos in here. So the first thing you're going to do, even though it might be a little bit intimidating walking in this code editor, don't worry about it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down in assets. Then you're going to click on add a new asset. It's going to ask you what type of asset you want to add. And you say, I want to create a blank file that I'm going to call quick view. It's not how you write quick view, Andrew, quick view. And it's going to be a JavaScript file. So dot JS add the asset. Once that is done, you're going to go to that actual new thing right here, new file thing. New file, Andrew. It's called quickview.js right here. You created it and it's going to be empty. We're going to paste some code into this. Throughout this video, I'm going to be pasting some code. Now, don't worry. Just watch the entire video to the end. And by the end of the video, I'm going to say exactly where to find the code. Why do I want you to watch the entire video first? It's because often people just go straight to the code, kind of do it in themselves, and then they mess up and then they leave comments saying it doesn't work. Watch the entire video, get the code at the end of the video, then redo it with the video and the code. And you're going to have the biggest chances of success. Okay, so once we're in the quick view JS folder, we're going to paste a bunch of JS code. There you go. It starts, it ends like this. It should be 176 lines and it starts with quick view. Awesome. We can click on save for that one. All right, once the JS is done, we're going to create a new asset. We're going to make sure it's an CSS.liquid file and we're going to call it quick view. There we go. We're going to add that asset and then we're going to select it right here in the assets folder and we're going to paste a whole bunch of stuff in there. Paste. And then we click save. So the two assets folders have been created and have been saved. The next step is going to go to snippets right here on the left and we're going to be adding a new snippet. So we're going to create a new snippet and you can guess how we're going to name it. That's right. We're going to name it quick view. Once you create it, contrary to the asset ones, this actually opens immediately and you are again going to be pasting some code in here. So that's going to look like this. You're going to click on save. All right. Next step is to going into the theme uh, folder right here on the top. There is a layout. Don't forget to save, but there is a layout right here and it's theme.liquid. Everyone, I used to call it theme.liquid and people were like, huh, which team, bro? I don't see it. And I'm like, no, no, apparently it's theme. I got to do the th. Anyway, we're going to find the closing head tag. This is the opening head tag. And if I highlight it, meaning turns orange, and I'm going to go scrolling all the way down, I'm going to find a closing head tag right here. I know it's closing because there is a forward slash before the word head. We're going to hit enter a couple of times because spacing doesn't really matter all that much in code, kind of. And then we're going to be pasting a little piece of uh, code right here. Should look something like that. We're going to save that. Now, the only step left right here is to actually add the quick view button on our collection page. That's it. And we're going to do that right now. But before we do that, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe and check out our other videos. Actually, if you're going to hit subscribe right now, I'm going to show you a little kitten as a reward. How about that? So just subscribe. And here's your kitten right there. Isn't that cute? 
That's cute, right? All right, anyway, enough of all of that baloney. Let's go to our final step here, the sections. Sections are right here. We haven't clicked on them yet, right here. And we're going to look for collection and dash template. This one, boom, you click on it. And then this is kind of the tricky part. We're going to look for, um, it's a list that we're looking for. So maybe the easiest thing to do is Command F on a Mac, Control F on Windows, a little search box appears, and we do grid. Here, grid item, there we go. This is the one that we want. There's a bunch of them, but we want the list. This is a list, LI stands for list. Here's another list. Um, and it's this one that we need a list with a class grid item. And then this is the opening of the list. This is the closing of the list right at the end of the opening of the list. So right here, I'm going to hit enter once and we're going to paste some code there. So it's going to be two quick lines of code. And this is basically telling, Hey, everything that we built so far, you're going to insert that right above. So we click save. There we go. And normally it should work. Normally, if you have an existing store, normally that should be enough. It's not going to be enough for me though, because there is no jQuery yet. However, let's test it just to make sure we saved everything. So we're going to check. We're going down to the copy. So online store themes, the copy. We know this is the one we worked on because last saved just now. We go on actions and we go on preview. Then you go to your collection page. Oh, look at that. The quick view is there, but doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, it ain't no good in my books. So the reason of that is because I don't have jQuery installed yet. Now, if you have a theme and if you have a store that has any bit of history where you did any type of modification, it's possible that it's already working because someone else already installed jQuery on it. This is brand new. So I've never installed jQuery. So we're going to do that together. So all this to say, Normally it should be working for you. If it doesn't work, don't worry. We're just going to go back here. Online store themes. This is the one we worked on. We're going to click on actions, edit code. We're just going back to the code editor where we were before. We give it a second to load. We're going to theme.liquid right here. And then actually you should write the opening head tag. Remember that one? There's a closing head tag. Remember that one? This is a code that we added earlier. Well, right before that, we're going to add our jQuery library. Paste. And then we save. Once it's saved, we're going to refresh this right here. And boom, look at that. We got a quick view. Now it's not live yet. For that, we got to go to online store right here. This is the version we just saved, remember? So we're gonna click on Actions and we're gonna click on Publish. Are you sure you wanna publish this version, they ask? Oh, damn, I'm sure. Publish. There you go, that's a beauty. Now, if we look at our live store, I'm gonna close all of this. We look at our live store. So any customer that walks in right now, they go to our collection page, guess what they're gonna see? They're gonna see a quick view, boom. All right, so now the quick view works as we can see. If you want to modify the color or the view of it, you're going to have to have to talk to a professional. They're just going to be able to help you out here. Otherwise, you can learn CSS. Um, it takes you about a couple of hours to learn it. Once you learn it and master it, you can modify all of these colors and the shapes yourself. It's kind of hard to do with just a YouTube video. And all of the codes that I've been copying and pasting, you can find them right below on the link. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to watch another video. Ciao.